You think that's right, don't you? Well, I don't think it matters a bit what I think. It does, though, Linda. You think it's right, don't you? Say you think it's right. Johnny, when two people love each other as much as you do, anything that keeps them apart must be wrong. Good evening. Good evening, sir. The gentleman, you've been away. Pleasant having you back. It's, it's pleasant to be back. There's been rather a noticeable absence of snow these recent weeks. And Quiet. Uh, so, Father, uh, Johnny came tonight to see Julia. Well, that doesn't surprise me a great deal, daughter. Not a great deal. Julia, not you and me. Come on, Dada, let's go bye-bye. Good evening, Johnny. Get your coat, darling. We're going out. Yes, dear. Oh, Father, could you explain to the Todds? Please close the door. I wish to speak with you both. You insist on putting me into a position that I don't in the least relish. Who's that? Oh, come in, Ed. Sorry, I just blocked up the dirt. Oh, come in. Sit down, son. Coming between two young people in love is furthest from my wish or intention. For love, true love, is a very rare and beautiful thing. Where are you going? Please sit down. And I believe that its path that is to say, the course of true love, contrary to the adage, should run smooth. I am a man of 58 years and speak from a long experience and observation. It is of paramount I, importance... I beg your pardon, sir. Yes? If that position is still open for me at the bank, I'll be glad to take it. Oh, Johnny. I'm still not convinced. I still don't believe in it. But it's what Julia wishes, and, and I'm glad to defer to her wish. You're not convinced, you say? Would you like me to lie to you, sir? Father, it's enough for me. Julia said a year or two. I'll do everything I can to make a success of it. I have only one reservation. If at the end of that time I still think it's wise for me to quit, there won't be any objections. I doubt if by that time there'll be reason for any. We shall have to see about that, sir. Well, Father. When is it you wish to be married? As soon as possible. Now the sun shines once more and... We're all friends again, eh? And now, what are your plans for your wedding trip, may I ask? We hadn't any very definite... Oh, it's wise to arrange even honeymoons a bit in advance. Now, let me suggest a little itinerary. You will land at Plymouth or Southampton and proceed straight to London. I shall cable my sister tomorrow. She and her husband will be delighted to have you stay with them. Here's Sir Hobart Phillips, one of the most important men in British banking, sir. Father, I'm well, not... Well, you could scarcely go abroad and not stop with your Aunt Helen, Julia. In addition, it will save hotel expenses, and Johnny can learn something of British methods. Then, I shall cable the Bobies in Paris. He's expert advisor to the Minister of Finance, a very valuable man for you to know. Well, I, uh, I had thought of this as a honeymoon more than a business trip, sir. Well, there's no harm in combining a little business with pleasure, is there? I've never found that there was. They have a lovely place, Johnny, just outside of Paris. Now, a week in London, a week in Paris, ten days in the south of France, ideal. Then you could sail from Genoa and return by the southern route. And I'll arrange to have your house ready for you to go into March first. Oh, thanks, darling. What house is that, Julia? Father's selling us the sweetest little place on 64th Street. Oh, Johnny, wait till you see it. Well, this is not a deed of gift, you know, not yet. <laughs> After you've uh, occupied it for a while for some time, my uh, hard old heart may soften. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him, his hard old heart. Would you also arrange for the servant's father? Julia, I'm sorry, but I can't stand it. Would you mind telling me what you mean? I thought this was going to be a trial for a couple of years or so. But if we begin loaded down with possessions and obligations, we could never get out from under them. Eh? No. No. You've been extremely kind and generous, sir. But it's not for us. But you... You said that I'm you... back where I was, Julia. I can see now it's got to be a clean break. It's simply got to. Oh, my dear, we've got to make our own life. There's nothing to it if we don't. There's no other way to live it. Forget about wedding invitations and all the rest of it. Let's get married tonight. I must decide now, must I? Please. And if I say no? I'm going tonight by myself. Very well, then you can go. 
I suppose the fact is, I love feeling free inside even better than I love you, Julia. Goodbye, sir. I'm sorry we couldn't make a go of it. Thanks for trying anyway. Goodbye to you, Linda. You've been sweet. Goodbye, Johnny. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you do. Linda. Please do. Goodbye, man. I'll miss that man. He's gone. Yes, and in my opinion, Good it's a very... Say. He's really gone. Oh, never mind, dear. If he loves you, he'll be back. Be back? Be back, did you say? What do you think I am? I hope, Julia, that this experience, hard as it may have been... Oh, don't to... worry about me. I'm all right. Even a little more than all right, I should say. What's the matter with you? You don't love him. Will you kindly? You don't love him. Will you please me? Do you or do you not? And what's that to you, may I ask? You don't, do you? I can see you don't. It's written all over you. You're relieved. He's gone. Relieved. And suppose I am. She asked me, suppose she is. Ah, you say it. I'm so relieved I could sing with it. Is that what you want? Yes, thanks. Oh, Nettie, Nettie, have I got a job now? Is your passport in order? Mine is. What do you say? Oh, when? Now, tonight. I don't think I could. Tonight. Oh, of course you could. If I can, you can. Linda, where are you off to? Will you come? You know I'd like where to. Where are you going? On a trip, on a big ride. Oh, what a ride. Do you mind? Will you come here? Listen, Father. A trip now is out of the question. You won't. Can't. Caught. Maybe. I'll be back for you, Ned. I'll be here. You've got no faith in Johnny, have you, Julia? His little dream may fall flat, you think, well, so it may. What if it should? There'll be another. Oh, I've got all the faith in the world in Johnny. Whatever he does is all right with me. If he wants to dream for a while, he can dream for a while. And if he wants to come back and sell peanuts, oh, how I'll believe in those peanuts. Goodbye, Julia. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Nettie. Goodbye, Ken. Good luck. Oh, never you fear. I'll be back for you, my fine bucko. All right, Ken. Linda! Try and stop me, someone. Oh, please, someone, try and stop me. I shall not permit it. Permit. I shall... Permit, Linda? Don't make me laugh, Father. She's going with him, isn't she? Isn't she? Going to get her, Johnny. A fine chance she's got. Any bets? Any bets, Julia? To Linda. While we're at it... Grandfather. <laughs> Dear, dear, dear. What a trip this might have been with Johnny along. Will you please stop him, Dick? Carly, see what's here. I can't stop it, Susan. I can't. I'm just miserable when I think of that boy going back to that house on his knees. Oh, shut up, dear. You know, for two paltry cents, I'd call off the whole hey. thing. Johnny! Johnny! Oh, my word. Where's Julia? Julia, I left her sitting on a golden throne. Johnny's taking the big ride by himself. No. Yeah. No! Oh, boy, boy, champagne. Any amount of it but hurry. We wish you both that. Uh, the name is Potter. No, let's change our name to Potter, then perhaps they'll call us Potter. Oh, what happened, Johnny? Susan, I've just waken out of a nightmare, but I think everything's going to be all right. In fact, I know it is. Come on, children. Come on. Is this where the club meets? Right here. <laughs> 